In this video, I will try to solve a problem that I previously uh, solved incorrectly. And uh, this question was rectified by a person, uh, namely Ananya, uh, which pointed out the mistakes in this uh, question. So I am really thankful uh, to that very person, which is in the Telegram channel of Econ Maths. Okay. So thanks again for uh, rectifying me. So I'm just rectifying my mistake, which I did in solving this very question okay the question was is like this a monopoly contains service packed meals to two groups of customers rather consumers group x and group y we have a monopoly content and we have two groups of people x and y and it serves uh, packed meals to them okay uh, the demand for packed meals for uh, group x and y are given by we have the separate demand uh, function for group x that is for uh, group x the demand function is 200 minus 4p where q is the quantity p is the price and similarly for group y we have q y is equal to 300 minus p where p is a uniform price per unit also the unit cost of producing each meal is rupees 50 that means it costs us rupees 50 to produce each meal we have to find the value of price value of p that is in rupees that maximize the cantina's profits the options are 75 50 125 or 175 so we will see how to solve this what we are being given we are being given a demand function that is qx is equal to 200 minus 4p okay for group x and for group Y, we have demand function is given by, we have 300 minus P, okay. Also, marginal cost, which is the unit cost, is given us as 50, okay. So, MC for both, uh, for producing each meal is 50, okay. Now, before we use the profit maximizing condition, we need to look at the demand functions individually okay so we have two <coughs> groups we have group x and group y okay in group x what is the demand function demand function is given as qx is equal to 200 minus 4p okay now if the monopoly content wants to serve in the first market obviously our quantity should be positive then that will make sense so our qx should be greater than zero okay when will be the quantity produced or served greater than zero that means our 200 minus 4p should be greater than zero or uh, 200 should be greater than 4p or we can write it like this uh, 4p should be less than 200 and if we transpose this for here so P should be less than 200 upon 4, which implies our price should be less than 50. Okay. So, what does this mean? So, we will be able to serve positive, positive, uh, uh, positive quantity only if the price is less than 50. Okay. So, what is the unit cost of producing uh, each meal so we have marginal cost marginal cost is equal to 50 okay here we can easily uh, comprehend if it costs us 50 rupees to produce a meal and in this condition the price is less than 50 will it be feasible uh, to serve the quantity uh, uh, serve uh, in the first uh, uh, first market that is for group x obviously not why because our cost is greater than the price which will be which we will receive in the uh, in the first market okay so you should be very careful here so i will repeat here since uh, we are only interested in uh, in supplying positive quantity not if we uh, if it is q is equal to zero then it will not also make any sense if we don't supply anything that will also not be feasible one our quantity should be positive or it should be greater than zero okay rather greater than zero when will be the quantity greater than zero when this term this this term should be greater than zero that means price whenever our price is less than 50 then we are able to uh, make any uh, meals in this market but if price is less than 50 
okay price is less than 50 but cost is equal to 50 here price is less than cost okay so is it feasible to serve in this market obviously not we cannot serve in this market okay now coming to the next market we have q of y same logic applies here so far group y what is the demand function q y is equal to 300 p 300 minus p okay so here also we will supply positive quantity and it will make sense then so our q y that is quantity produced should be greater than zero which implies our 300 minus p should be greater than zero or 300 should be greater than p if we transpose or our price should be less than 300 okay in the second market we will be able to serve only when the price is less than 300 okay but price less than 300 can also mean price is less than 50 or less or equal to 50 okay so for that we need to use another constraint here because if in the first market price was less than 50 in the second market price was less than 200 uh, sorry 300 and these two conditions are satisfied when price is less than 50 okay whenever price is less than 50 we can say that price is less than 300 okay and price is less than 50 both conditions are satisfied at this point okay so in the second market we will be able to produce or serve positive quantity only when price is less than 300 but this price should be greater than 50 why why our price should be greater than 50 as we have seen in this uh, uh, in the first market as long as price is greater than 50 okay as long as price is greater than 50 and less than 300 then the monopoly canteen can uh, serve positive meals in the second market okay okay uh, so the constraint here would be our price should be between 50 and 300 in the second market okay so first market is not feasible at all if price is less than 50 then we will not be able to serve anything but if price is greater than 50 here if we write greater or equal to 50 then it will also not make any sense to produce here because when the price is greater than 50 our quantity demanded in the first market sorry quantity uh, demanded in the first market will be less or equal to zero okay so quantity cannot be zero or negative so if we have price greater than 50 in the first market then also we will not be able to uh, survive in the first market okay for the second market our price should be less than 300 but greater than 50 why greater than 50 because our marginal cost of producing each meal is 50 so as long as our cost cost is less than price then we will be able to uh, so in the second market okay so we cannot use the first market in here okay now that means we need to concentrate on the second ma market only okay now uh, if we we cannot use the first market then we are left with these two expressions okay so q is equal to 300 minus p marginal cost is 50 profit maximization requires our marginal revenue should be equal to marginal cost so first we need to find the marginal revenue here so how do we find the marginal revenue so first we solve it for price so if we transpose p is equal to this is 300 minus qy okay so total revenue is equal to price into quantity which means 300 minus q y into this we multiply q y okay so this is our total revenue which is 300 
times q y minus q y square this is our total revenue what is our marginal revenue marginal revenue is simply the derivative of total revenue with respect to quantity derivative of a q is 1 so we have 300 here derivative of q square is 2 q so 2 q y okay by power function rule and setting this profit maximization condition so uh, setting marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost will give us so our marginal revenue is 300 minus 2 q y should be equal to marginal cost which is 50 okay so we have we can write 2 q y is equal to 250 just to transposing this 50 here will get subtracted to this 300 or q y is equal to 250 upon 2 which gives us 2 1s are 2 2 2s are 4 2 5s are 10 so quantity produced or quantity served is equal to 125 but we need to find the price okay so to find the price just insert uh, just, uh, just insert q y is equal to 125 in the second market that is p is equal to 300 minus q y which is the feasible demand market here so p will be equal to 300 minus 125 or our profit maximizing price will be equal to now 10 minus 5 is 5 9 minus 2 is 7 uh, 2 minus 1 is 1 so we are left with 175 okay i hope i make myself clear in this video so uh, let me recap this again so i solved this uh, problem previously but there was mistake in solving this i just uh, add up these two demand functions okay and for formed the whole demand function but that was not the case in the question okay so previously i got 75 as the co correct answer but the correct answer should be 175 okay